Now, Friday Night Blitz on News Watch 12, presented by Abby's Legendary Pizza. Welcome to week six of the high school football season. Thanks for spending your Friday night with me. I'm Peyton Manny. Many of our teams played on Thursday this week and some of our teams run by, but we still have a packed show to get through. And speaking of games on Thursday, our game of the week was last night. The Eagle Point Eagles in the house of the South Eugene Axe. Let's see some highlights. Ain't no party like a Southside party, or is there? The South Eugene Axe welcoming in the Eagle Point Eagles. Both teams looking for their first win of the season. Who's it going to be? Late in the second quarter, Felix Oletti with the QB keeper. He falls into the end zone. Axe lead 8-0 heading into half. Then disaster strikes in the third pin deep. Oscar Higby booming high snap out through the back. That's a safety in the Eagles. Get on the board. Following offensive possession, Peyton Smith big gaping hole up the middle. And just like that, the Eagles have themselves their first lead of the night and score their first offensive touchdown of the season. It only gets worse for the Axe, though. Next, Eagles drive Smith bouncing, bobbing, weaving his way through traffic. Green grass in front of him. A 40-yard strike, and the Eagles lead by eight. Axe down to try for their very last time. Oletti drops off the pass, but it won't do. Eagles pick up their first win of the season and come from behind fashion. The final 16-8, Eagles. Moving into Friday night games, a 6A showdown out at the Speak. South Medford hosting Grants Pass. Here we go. First quarter, Jordan Rosetta gets the ball out quick to Trayton Powers, and he's going to power his way into the end zone. Extra point, no good. Caveman up 6-0. Still in the first, McConnell Brown hands it off to Kellen Lefebvre. He does the rest, and the Panthers take their first lead of the night. A little later, Rosetta and the Caveman answer. This time, it's a pass over the top. Brevik Hill is wide open. GP goes for two, and they convert. Second quarter, Brown rolls off his O-line and into the end zone. The QB1 making it look too easy. 20-14, to Grant's pass. Second half, Rosetta play action. Pressure coming. He gets the pass off to Isaac Johnson on the slant. Johnson does the rest. Cavemen go on to finish it. The final 42-30, to Grant's pass. More 6A action. North Medford at Sherwood. Second quarter, North puts up six and Colton Miller knocks it through. Black Tornado up 14 to six, but the Bowman answer. Wilson Medina in the Wildcat. He breaks a few tackles, stumbles in for the touchdown. Sherwood goes for two. Aiden Rodriguez hands it off to Mace Tingy, who converts. We're tied at 14 through the first half, but the Bowman take it in the second. The final 36 to 14, Sherwood. And coming up on Friday Night Blitz, we've got more highlights and final scores to get to. See how your favorite teams did tonight. Stick around. You're watching Friday Night Blitz. Friday Night Blitz, presented by Abby's Legendary Pizza. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And our kids still talk about that. I go back now, too, and I think about all those great days and great times. The neat thing is that we can go back in today and still enjoy the same quality food that we enjoyed 50 years ago. That's legendary. Running a small business isn't easy. We put in long hours, wear multiple hats, and tackle new challenges every day. But Measure 118 would threaten small businesses like ours by imposing a massive $6.8 billion tax on sales, the largest tax increase in Oregon history. Measure 118 would drive up costs for basic supplies we need to run our business and force us to pass those costs on to our customers. Please join small business owners and vote no on Measure 118. At Spectrum, we believe every day unlocks a new door to unlimited possibilities. Possibilities to bring you closer to the people and the places you love. Spectrum transforms your gaming experience into a galaxy of adventures with the fastest and most reliable internet. Connect to unlimited possibilities when you switch to Spectrum Internet Premier for only $30 per month when bundled and save with our three-year price guarantee and no contracts. Call 1-844-653-6824. With the fastest, most reliable internet, you're always front row to the entertainment you love, no matter where you are. And with advanced Wi-Fi to keep you safe and secure online, you can focus on what matters the most. Spectrum Internet doesn't just power your home. 
It puts streaming, live TV, sports, and popular apps all at your fingertips. Get incredible savings when you switch to Spectrum Internet Premier for just $30 a month with a three-year price guarantee. That's our promise to you. Call 1-844-653-6824. There is no better time than now to join Casa of Jackson in Josephine County and give back to your community in a meaningful way. Orientations offered every Thursday at 12 p.m. As a Casa volunteer, you will be the eyes and ears of the court and speak solely for the best interest of the child or youth in foster care. Excellent training and support provided by our experienced Casa staff. Call or email today to learn more. Casa of Jackson in Josephine County. Be a child's voice. Welcome back to Friday Night Blitz on News Watch 12, presented by Abby's Legendary Pizza. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Our teams in 4A and 3A got league play started tonight, so let's keep it rolling with some more highlights and see who's starting league in the win column. Starting first, out at Mazama, the Vikings hosting Marshfield. The Pirates working fast. They get around the Vikings defense quickly and put up six. Mazama answers back with a field goal. Connor McCool puts it through the uprights, but here he is on defense. McCool getting things done on both sides of the ball. Enoch Niblett throws not one, but two picks on the night. This time it's Sakai Hunt. The Mazama defense working hard so the offense can roll. The final in Viking territory, 27-20. Mazama. Hidden Valley at Henley, tight game through the first half, exiting with 14 all. Second half action, the Mustangs in the red zone. Austin Klinger hits Jackson Sparlin in the end zone. The Mustangs add on six, but a little later, the Mustangs punt. It's a laser straight into the hands of Mark Carpenter. The senior walks it up the sideline and in. Henley answers. The Hornets want to add on some more, though. Joe Janey screen pass out to Bryson Montag. Montag off to the races, and he's got a clear lane ahead. Touchdown Hornets. Henley rolling this time. It's Janie over the top to Trapper Cundell. Cundell with no one to beat. Hornets walk away with this one 42 to 20. The North Valley Knights on the Pirates ship tonight for a 3A showdown. Both teams getting league play started, and it's also homecoming night for the Pirates. Defense showing up big in the first half. So we're scoreless, so we're going to start with some homecoming fun. Whiteout and D-back Jackson Cook was crowned as homecoming king. You love to see that. But now let's get back to football. Third quarter, Pirates looking to drive down the field quick. But Cody Martin fumbles, and the Knights recover deep in Pirate territory. They capitalize. Roy McGregor on the QB keeper. He walks it in for the first touchdown of the night, 7-0. Little later, John Erkineff pops out of the sea and navy of white. He'll stride in for another six. And the Knights go on to win it 28 to nothing, starting league play 1 0. And now out to Lithia and Driveway Fields, Cascade Christian hosting Klamath Union. In their first 3A matchup against each other, we start in the third quarter. Challengers with a 36 0 lead. They're going to extend. Derek Farmer gets the snap, escapes the pocket. He finds his guy, Jacob Beamish. In the end zone, challengers go up 42 to nothing. Into the fourth, all gas, no breaks. Caleb Scaglioni behind center. He hits all the gaps, all the holes, nothing but green grass ahead. Going, going, and gone. Kiss him goodbye. The junior adds on another seven. Down 50, but the Pels are still fighting. Reese Johnson steps back to pass. He hits Tuco Saluskin. Tuco with the catch, run. And the touchdown. KU escapes the shutout. The final 50 to 7. Cascade Christian. And coming up next on Friday Night Blitz, the votes are in. Week 4 Play of the Week winner is here. We'll announce who's taking home the crown this week. Plus, I got more final scores from across the region. You're watching Friday Night Blitz. Night Blitz, presented by Abby's Legendary Pizza. I never set out to be a baseball coach. I was going to be a baseball player. You know, I wanted to be a big leaguer. When that came to an end, I was offered the opportunity at George Fox College to be in charge of their baseball program, but I didn't think that we could actually live on my $3,000 salary. So one of the things I did was being the janitor at the Newburgh Abbey's. It was a great place to go. It was a great place for camaraderie. It's just a great atmosphere. Abby's Pizza continues to grow, continues to blossom, continues to be the best. Don't wait weeks for high quality dentures. Come to Court Street Denture Clinic. We handcraft each denture to fit your smile. Repairs, relines, or new dentures. 
We also offer free exams and discounts for seniors and veterans. Do you grind your teeth at night? Ask us about our night guards and mouth guards. Accepting new patients and most insurances. Serving the Rogue Valley for over 40 years. Court Street Denture Clinic. Give us a call today. I'm a real wild one. Once in a while, we all want to go wild. We just need a little help. Meet a little help. The 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Wild Edition goes over any terrain so you can go all out. Get a wild deal on a Bronco Sport today. Lease a Bronco Sport Wild Edition for just $369 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. Sam's Jewelers is having a spooktacular sale all through October. Prepare for hair-raising deals with all jewelry marked down by 30 to 80% off retail. Prices are so low, it's frightening. Fly in and explore our best selection yet. Shop early for the holidays. Missing these unbeatable deals might haunt you forever. Treat your loved ones to diamond-encrusted eye candy. Sam's Jewelers, located in the Rogue Valley Mall. No tricks, just beautiful treats. No one covers sports like Newswatch 12, live from the Toyota Sports Desk every night at 6 and 11 p.m. Newswatch 12's Madison Marie and Peyton Manny bring you more coverage of your favorite local teams. Whether you're a fan of basketball, football, soccer, baseball, softball, volleyball, winter sports, and more, Newswatch 12 Sports has all the action you need with a focus on highlighting local athletes. Newswatch 12 Sports Desk, presented by Toyota. Welcome back to Friday Night Blitz on Newswatch 12, presented by Abby's Legendary Pizza. And before we say goodbye tonight, we have to break down the thrilling final scores from a few games from last night and tonight, starting first with Thursday Night Lights and the Crusaders taking on the Honkers. It was another tough loss for St. Mary's as they fall to Lakeview 39-3. The Honkers improved to 2-3 overall and 1-0 in league play. The Crusaders will look to bounce back next week as they are set to host North Valley. Over at Bonanza, the Lost River Raiders got things done against the Antlers. The final 50-26, Lost River jumped back into the win column last night and are now 3-2 overall with an even league record sitting at 1-1. The Antlers still looking good, holding a 1-2 league record. Up in North Bend, Ashland couldn't spoil homecoming for the Bulldogs as they fall 36-20. The Grizzlies will take on Marshfield next week looking for their first league win and first win in two weeks. Over at Brookings Harbor, the Red Devils are bringing the dub back to Coquille, the final 41-20 Coquille. They improve to 3-2 with a solid start in league play, while the Bruins fall to 2-3 and, and will look to even out their league record next week when they host Sutherland. It was a tough night for the Gold Beach Panthers as they fall 52 to nothing to the Oakland Oakers. The Oakers now 5-0 on the season and starting league play in the win column, while the Panthers fall to 0-5 with a 0-1 league record. Gold Beach will be back at home next week to host Reed Sport. Myrtle Point came, they saw, and they conquered the final at Illinois Valley 38-24 Bobcats. The Cougs back at home next week to take on Oakland. Crosspoint Christian Warriors stay undefeated with a 44-8 dub over the Eagles. The Warriors improving to 4-0 in league and will be back on the road next week to take on Prospect Charter. And speaking of Prospect Charter, the Cougars picked up their first one of the season on the road at Glendale. The final 50-32 Cougs. And Friday night wouldn't be complete without announcing our Week 4 Play of the Week winner. This play received the most votes we've had all year. So without further ado, the Week 4 Play of the Week winner is... Hidden Valley's Presley Noga. QB1 Austin Klinger takes a shot deep. The beautiful pass gets caught by a covered Presley Noga. The senior comes down with the catch, putting the Mustangs in scoring position. Great play right there. And now to one of my personal favorite parts of the night, our week five plays of the week. These are some great players making some great plays, so you'll have a hard time voting this week. Our first play of the week nominee goes to St. Mary's senior Davis Jones. The crew setting up for a 51-yard field goal attempt. Jones puts it up 
It's got power. Does it have the distance? Yes, it does. Davis Jones makes history, breaking the 3A record for field goal attempt. And nominee two goes to Cascade Christian and Caleb Scaglione, the junior behind center, gets the snap. He hits all the gaps and the holes. He's off to the races. Kiss him goodbye. The junior adds on another touchdown for the challengers in their 50 to seven win. And last but certainly not least, our final play of the final play of the week goes to the caveman. Jordan Rosetta play action. He even fakes out the camera a little bit. The pressure's coming, but he gets the pass off to Isaac Johnson on the slant. Johnson doing the rest, and the caveman go on to win it at the speed. Great night of high school football. Even better day for college football tomorrow. The Ducks play tonight. Beavers, SOU play tomorrow. Highlights, final scores right here on College Game Night. But that's going to do it for me tonight on Friday Night Blitz. You can find out more about our big games of the week by heading to our website, kdrv.com. Have a great night and happy football.